and good day. Today we're having a look at this a uh, little microphone, studio microphone. I'll just flip the box over as always, let you have a bit of a look. Nothing uh, really exciting from the outside. All pretty much the same all the way around. Same on the bottom, it just basically mirrors the, uh, the top. And it looks like was it open from here, so have a look and see what we've got in there. Okay, oops, upside down. That'd be, uh, <laughs> it's always my luck, I tend to do that. What do we got? We've got ourselves um, some instructions. So we'll have a look at them in a second. Looks like a warranty card. And uh, what's that? That's a connector of some type. Looks like, okay, headphone set and uh, microphone, I'm guessing. So that plugs in, that's a USB uh, connector. What do we got here? That's a, what is it? Oh, it looks like a microphone holder of some description. So we'll check that out shortly. Some more cabling. What's that? Oh, <laughs> There's a tiny uh, tripod. That's interesting. Okay, a bit of a filter. Fair enough. And what have we got here? We've got uh, the microphone itself. So, there we go. Um, it's interesting. We'll check this out shortly, see what it can and can't do. What else is in here? Oh, there's another little connector of some description. So, that's pretty well all that's in the box, it looks like. Yep, that's it. Nothing else in the box. I'll just line all this up again so you can see what you get. And there you are. That's everything that was in the box. Now let's um, have a bit of a look at the instructions here. So it's a capacitor microphone. And it shows you how to install it there. Looks like we don't have much in the way of uh, languages. You have a choice of English or, or Chinese. Oops. So there you go. Let's put it to the test and see what it can do, shall we? I'm about to use the volume control and the echo or reverb control. I'll just click the button over here. We have a countdown of three, two, a one, a zero, and recording has now started. So what you're hearing right now should be the volume control on the microphone itself. I'll now turn on the echo and uh, you should be hearing echo or reverb, whichever you prefer to call it. I personally don't understand why anybody would want to use it, but it's there if you need to. And I'll just turn it back off again. And I'll drop the volume back to, oh, give or take, say the three quarter mark. I think that's a pretty good level for recording. Okay, the microphone itself is a directional microphone, which means that we have a pickup on one side and nothing on the other side. So as I rotate the microphone, you should be able to hear a difference in the volume in my voice, even though I'm speaking at exactly the same level. So we're back to that. That should be at full volume if all goes well. This is the inbuilt microphone on my laptop uh, to give you an idea of how it sounds compared to the capacitor microphone. I've now switched back to the capacitor microphone. I think you can hear the difference in quality without me really having to go too much into it. It's not a bad mic. It works quite okay. It's inexpensive and does the job. Hopefully I'll catch up with you on the next video. All the very best till then. Take care.